Hi. Let's learn about the ex-dividend date and its significance in the world of finance. The ex-dividend date, or ex-date for short, is one of four stages that companies go through when they pay dividends to their shareholders. The ex-dividend date is important because it determines whether the buyer of a stock will be entitled to receive its upcoming dividend. A dividend is typically a cash payment that a company pays to its shareholders as a reward for investing in its stock or equity shares. As companies generate a profit, they usually accumulate or save those profits in an account called retained earnings. To understand the ex-dividend date, we need to understand the stages companies go through when they pay dividends to their shareholders. The first of these stages is the declaration date. This is the date on which the company announces that it will be issuing a dividend in the future. The second stage is the record date, which is when the company examines its current list of shareholders to determine who will receive dividends. Only those who are registered as shareholders in the company's books as of the record date will be entitled to receive dividends. The third stage is the ex-dividend date, which is the date that determines which of these shareholders will be entitled to receive the dividend. Typically, the ex-dividend date is set one business day before the record date. Shareholders who bought the stock on the ex-dividend date or after will not receive a dividend. However, shareholders who own their shares at least one full business day before the ex-dividend date will be entitled to receive a dividend. The fourth and final stage is the payable date, also known as the payment date. The payable date is when the dividend is actually paid to eligible shareholders. Many investors want to buy their shares before the ex-dividend date to ensure that they are eligible to receive the upcoming dividend. However, if you find yourself buying shares and realizing that you missed the ex-dividend date, you may not have missed out as much as you thought. This is because share prices usually drop by the amount of the dividend on the ex-dividend date. To illustrate this process, consider a company that declares an upcoming dividend on Tuesday, July 30th. If the record date is Thursday, August 8th, the ex-dividend date would be Wednesday, August 7th, meaning anyone who bought the stock on August 7th or later would not receive a dividend. Here are four key takeaways. 1. The ex-dividend date, or ex-date, marks the cutoff point for shareholders to be credited a pending stock dividend. 2. To receive the upcoming dividend, shareholders must have bought the stock before the ex-dividend date. Three. There are four dates to know when it comes to companies' dividends, the declaration date, the ex-dividend date, the record date, and the payable date. 4. On the ex-dividend date, stock prices typically decline by the amount of the dividend. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.